Please let there be money in our bank account. Amen. 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 Damn it, it didn't work. We're still poor. Hey, party people, welcome back. Well, August has come and gone, so of course we have to talk about our top 10 pickups for the month of August. But before we do that, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Comment down below what you think uh, the best card I picked up for the month was. Or, better yet, comment your best pickup for the month of August. What are you guys collecting? What did you pick up that you're really proud of? Let me know down in the comments. Let's uh, share and share alike. Anyway, the economy, not doing so great. Hasn't been doing so great for a little bit. But we still managed to get some really nice cards. And of course... We've got some honorable mentions. Some of these cards you may have seen in previous videos because, like I said, economy's not doing so great. Can't go to as many card shows or as many card stores. But you make pickups where you can. And uh, some of these are actually really, really nice little pickups. Uh, really happy with them. Some great cards. So stick around. When we come back, we're going to take a look at our top 10 and our honorable mentions. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and hey, don't forget to comment down below what your favorite card was, and what's the best card you picked up, or what is your favorite card that you picked up. Doesn't even have to be an expensive card. Let me know. Let's share. Let's start that conversation. All right, this is going to be a ton of fun. Stick around. We will see these cards when we come back. All right, party people, as usual, we're going to start with our honorable mentions. And honorable mention number one is this Tony Gwynn rookie card. Pick this up while on vacation in Maine, because uh, this wasn't bought in Canada. Uh, but still, you know, Hall of Famer, it's his rookie card, didn't have it, now I do. And it was like, I can't remember, like five bucks, six bucks, it was cheap. So I thought, you know, why not? You know, now I've got that Hall of Famer right there. Speaking of Canada. Says no Canada like French Canada is the best Canada in the land. I we definitely bought this in Canada. And uh, you guys, this was in a recent, actually both of these were in a recent video. Um, yeah, this was like $3 US, but it's worth like 10 or $12 US. Not a bad pickup. It's Connor McDavid. Got to try and get more of the big names in hockey. Um, this guy's going to end up in the Hall of Fame. It's what I do with basketball, football, and baseball, so why not hockey? This was a great little pickup. Very happy for it. I'm going to have to get those stickers off eventually. But cool card. Next up for our honorable mentions, this Patrice Bergeron NHL Remnants card. I don't believe it's numbered. So I actually bought... A pack of artifacts hockey in a card store for like 15 bucks it was somewhere in that range it wasn't very expensive but I noticed when the guy handed it to me it was very thick uh, are we not saying phrasing anymore uh, <laughs> phrasing um, but yeah good pickup look how thick that card is but it's an it's a nice black napkin but it's Patrice Bergeron, and this was local. This was in a card store in Massachusetts, so... I mean, if he was really interested, he probably could have bought this off me. But, uh, it's a Bruin. My wife likes to PC the Bruin, so... That's gonna be hers. It's gonna be hers to display or tuck away. She's starting her own collection of Lorcana. She always had some little stuff, but definitely getting more into cards now. Which is great for her. Bad for my wallet. But, there you go. And our last one was at a different card store. This was a hobby pack of, good lord. Well, let's look at the card. First off, it's Fitz Magic, and it's a three color patch. Look at that. That's what it was, Panini Threads. It was a hobby pack for like $8. And it's numbered, I believe, yep, numbered to 99 of Fitz Magic. It is a nice little patch, nothing too special because there's no like special design, but still, 
you can't complain when you got three colors and it's numbered. Uh, would have been nice if it were a better quarterback in the, you know, <laughs> a. It, let's face it, Tom Brady. Tom Brady would have been a good one. Try, trying to get a joke out there, and I just, I can't bring myself to it. Would have been better if it was an AFC East uh, quarterback that was on the Patriots, but I, I couldn't drag that out of me because it was. was bad joke. That was bad. But for for eight dollars for an old hobby pack, not too shabby. Was not expecting that at all. So not bad, not bad. There was really nothing else in those two hobby packs except for those. So you know, it's more of a gamble. Uh, I mean, it could have been a patch of Wayne Gretzky, you know, and that would have been worth a small fortune. This could have been a patch of Tom Brady, which would be a small fortune. You can't complain when you get a hit. You only want the better ones, though. So, let's take a look now at our top 10. Top 10. Here is number 10 right here. Put that card behind it. Uh, I did not pay $7, but it is a refractor. It is a rookie refractor of Adley Rushman. I think this was like a $4 or $5 purchase. But I grabbed this one because I didn't have a Topps Chrome Refractor rookie of him. And the condition of this card was actually really, really nice. I mean, PSA 10? I don't know. But it was probably the one in the best shape. And I got it for less than, less than the sticker, which I can't complain. I mean, they always put a higher price because, you know, they want to maximize their profits. But... You know, you clump stuff up, you make a deal. Uh, you know, plus, if you go to card shops a lot, you know, even if it's only for one or two things, they get used to seeing you. You become a, a regular, and you know they treat you a little different, which is which is nice. The guys who keep coming in and giving the business, uh, excuse me, giving them business, giving the business something completely different. Don't do that to them. Uh, yeah, you know, repeat customers. They treat him a little nicer. But a beautiful card. Good young player. Probably going to be in the league a very long time. Not bad for a couple bucks. Next up was another rookie card that was even cheaper. I think I got this for like $2. But it's Corey Seager. Corey Seager is already, I believe, a two-time uh, World Series MVP. In a, I believe he was in a uh, league MVP one year as well. He's still pretty young. I think may maybe 30, 94. He just turned 30. Yeah, he turned 30 this year. So he's got another, you know, he could have another eight, even 10 years in the league. You know, to get, to get little money for a guy who's been very good. Uh, like, could he be a Hall of Famer? I don't know. I normally don't like to prospect, but good player, very little money. I thought it might have been worth a shot. And I grabbed, again, the one I thought was in the best condition, which is this one. Not bad for a couple bucks, you know. Uh, and if he becomes a Hall of Famer or if he, if he, you know, ends up with a, you know, like an 80 war or whatever it is and all the stats and everything pretty sure he's a gold glover too so i mean he could be there and to get the rookie cards cheap i am not going to complain next up is another rookie card but this is bowman and it's bowman football so this is an older one and if you can notice you don't see any marks of the team until you get right there didn't actually think I'd see it see it because I didn't know if they had the rights. But here's a Stefan Diggs. Uh white was called like White Sparkle. I can't even remember. But here it is. Tops uh Bowman Draft, I believe. Could just be regular Tops Bowman, but it's a Stefan Diggs rookie card. Haven't seen too many of these. And as much of a diva as he is. And I hate the Divas. 
Uh, he does have the talent to back it up. Uh, great player. Believe I got this for three dollars. Uh, so three dollars for look at that. Three dollars for this card. I thought was a great little buy. Again, spending little money. This probably is only worth you know five or six dollars, but it's a great little card. Great player. If he does end up in the Hall of Fame or if he does something crazy this year, you know, C.J. Stroud is his quarterback now. The dude seems legit. Um, I think Stephon Diggs had like one or two touchdowns today. Uh, yeah, recording this on Football Sunday, opening weekend. But uh, yeah, Th this is a card I could let go, but it's also a great card to have. Maybe he's in his Terrapins uniform and they don't have the uh, rights to college. That's why he's like that. Well, moving on. This one's actually a twofer. Uh, these next two cards, I believe, were bought at the exact same time. Paired up. Paired up. There's one card numbered to 75 and another to 125. And as you can see, they're minis. Let's look at the first one. Number to 125 is Aaron Donald. This is from uh, Panini Legacy. So they're regular size cards and they have little uh, little parallels in them. Look at that. 89 to 125 of Aaron Donald. I actually didn't notice that. Look, that's a scratch on the card, I believe. Oh, if that's a scratch on the card, that's actually going to suck. Didn't notice that before. I think I got the pair of them for like seven dollars, six dollars. Actually, now that I think about it, it's probably seven. I gotta look at that. Is that a scratch on the card? Oh no, maybe not. Maybe I got lucky. Yep, not a scratch on the card. But it's a really cool little numbered card. Aaron Donald, he's a freaking beast. He's for sure going to be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, just, I, I, It actually surprised me that he retired after only, what was it, 10 seasons? But you know what? What else does he have to accomplish? If, he, if he's ready to hang it up, you know, good for him. Next one up, though. Look at that. Justin Herbert. It would have been even better if it was a rookie card. But it's not. I believe it's a second year card. 23, so third year card. But look, numbered to just 75. Look at that. Two of the better players coming out of LA. Alright, hopefully, uh hopefully his career improves. He uh he's got the talent. Hasn't always had the talent around him and hasn't always made the best decisions, but I'm still really high on Justin Herbert. Really not a bad pickup, I think, for, I mean, listed 10. I got it for six or seven bucks for the pair. Um, my guess is they were sitting there forever and no one wants tiny cards. So, uh, yeah, I think he was just happy to get rid of them. So that's nice. Nice little pickup here. Speaking of pickups uh, and L.A., this was really sweet. I believe I had to pay the full price for this one, but at $3... Check that out. And it's a good looking one too. Jared Goff gold die cut press proof to 25. Look at that. Yeah. Only thing better was if it was jersey number. His jersey's 16. This is numbered 18 to 25. But a very, very nice looking card and again three dollars for a card number to 25 the dude's a legit quarterback all right the lions got better when they traded and got him matt stafford got the ring but looks like jared goff may be the better quarterback what a good looking card very very happy to get that you know it might not be worth a ton but it is such an Awesome, awesome card right there. Numbered to 25. You know, you almost feel bad when you see a card numbered to 25, especially if it's a quarterback and a good one and you just don't buy it. You know, maybe that's just me. 
But, uh, yeah, good lord, for three bucks, that really sounded like a no-brainer. This next one might be my favorite card that I picked up. Definitely in the top three, but in terms of value, not that valuable. 1989 All-Stars, Fleer. It's a basketball card. Anyone have any ideas? Anyone recognize that, that head? How about that face? That is one of the most recognizable faces in sports, because it is Michael Jordan. 1989 Fleer. Yeah. For, for what it is, it's in really good shape. Definitely not PSA 10 or 9 or 8. You know, you can see the stuff on the edges there in the corner. The edge up top. But it's still a really good looking card. And for 5 bucks, the guy's like, it's Jordan. They sell all day. I can't take anything off it. And, yeah, I can't blame them. But 5 bucks for this, uh, you know, late 80s Jordan card. Again, cannot complain. That's another one that is going to go right on a stand. The next couple aren't going to go on a stand, but still really nice cards. Because they are... Uh, these are actually both... These next two were from a Whatnot auction. This first one... You might not recognize Jason Kidd. But this was a $5 purchase. I won this card for $5. It's a Jason Kidd Top's Finest Rookie card. It's still got the protection on it, and it came in a one-touch. These one-touches alone are like 3 bucks. So it's like buying the card for $2. And Top's Finest... Top's Finest cards are not cheap. Uh, this was in pretty good shape. I think this card in a PSA 10, though, is only like 60 or $70. It's not that expensive. He's not, you know, the most collected player. He is a Hall of Famer. Uh, but, you know, they're just not worth a ton, last I checked. But the condition was really nice. Came in the one touch. You know, for five bucks, for five bucks, why not? Um, and I'm happy I did because then with whatnot, your first purchase, you pay the full shipping. And every purchase after, uh, your shipping is like, 95% off or whatever you know you, you pay almost nothing because it's all getting shipped together you're pretty much just paying for the weight added on and that allowed me at least you know to reason to myself allowed me to buy this card also in a one touch and I think I spent eight or nine dollars on this which normally I wouldn't have didn't didn't care much for the player but it was a Rookie card, look at that name, Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams, if you if you haven't made fun of how I just said that. Topps Chrome Rookie Card. Uh, I believe this card had a... Uh, I think he pointed it out. There was like a tiny little ding somewhere, I think. Um, I know this condition wasn't as good as the Jason Kidd one. I think maybe he was talking about that, and that's on the case. Or that's on the plastic, rather. Uh, or right there. I think that's what he was pointing out. So it wouldn't be like a PSA 10, that right there. But still, really good card. Really good wide receiver. Tries to do... Uh, best for the team kind of guy. I like this guy a lot better than I do Stephon Diggs. Um, but can't argue with Stephon Diggs' talent, like I said. But this guy, at least as talented. Great wide receiver. And now I got his rookie card and another really cool one-touch. So that's nice. Real happy for that. Now we're in our top two. And top two should be kind of obvious. Aaron Judge got this while in Canada. So I think I paid around $20 Canadian. So, I mean, that's like $15 US, you know, $16 US. But it's Aaron Judge. Again, just like Shohei Otani, Tom Brady, all those guys. If I find their rookie card and it's in a range I can afford, I'm going to snatch it up. 
This dude's a monster. He can bunt the ball 400 feet. Um, dude's unbelievable. The the amount of talent this dude has. Um, I have no problem buying up his rookie card. Same with Shohei. Good lord, this Shohei could be the first player to hit 50 home runs and have 50 steals. He is that stinking close to that. He's an unbelievable talent. All right, so when I find his rookie cards and I, I can afford them, you know, afford them, I try and snatch him up. And that's what I did with this guy. I mean, it was only like two years ago he hit 62 home runs in a season. I right, was really hoping he, he would hit 63 because I have that Aaron Judge auto, you know, sitting in a safe because no one wants to buy it at the price I want. But if it was, if that card number was the same as the amount of home runs he hit, that would have sold. But, you know, when you pay too much, you got to hold on to it. And I was stupid. But, again, Aaron Judge, oh, no, I have to hold on to it for a long time. I'll get over it. It's a great card to have. And uh, it should come to no surprise. The best pickup for the month of August is, of course, Tom Brady rookie card. Yeah, it's only a PSA 7, but... It's Tom Stinkin' Brady. I don't know why the guy put a tag there over Tom Brady's face. How dare he? Uh, but, yeah, there. You know what? You know what? We don't need this plastic anyway. Where the heck is it? How do you seal it up? Oh, and you put it on the front, too? <sighs> Junk that. There we go. But there you go. Tom Brady, New England Patriots. Rookie pairs. Gio uh, Giovanni Carmazzi. Well, you're famous because you share <laughs> you share space with that guy. The greatest quarterback to yet play the game. I don't care what you say about Peyton Manning or Joe Montana. They're, they're, they're one tier below that guy. Unbelievable. Uh, and of course, I have to put him on a stand. Let's put him in front of uh, his much more expensive rookie card. There you go. Well, there are our pickups for the month of August. Honestly, for not spending anywhere near as much money as I have in previous months, I don't think I did that bad. You know what? Let's adjust that camera down a little bit. And get a better view. There you go. All in all, I really don't think I did that bad for the month. All right, got some great rookie cards. Picked up some really solid insert cards. Uh, yeah, real happy with this actually. And in all in all, like when you include the Brady, there, there's less than I I want to say less than a hundred and. Ten dollars here, and most of that's actually no. This was only forty bucks. Forty, sixty. Good lord! If you if you count the packs, it's like a hundred and ten, a hundred and twenty dollars. But if we didn't include those packs, this is definitely under a hundred bucks. And to be honest, if this were all lotted up, I'd pay a hundred bucks for it. Yeah, I'm actually really happy. Look at that, huh? just come into that realization on camera and I got to share it with you guys so hey thanks well that was August for me I had a ton of fun showing this stuff to you guys even getting those you know late in the video realizations um, but I'm happy to share it with you guys I love sharing it with you guys I have fun doing it and I hope you have fun watching and if you do hey hit that subscribe button helps the channel grow and we need to grow because, you know, we can't take over YouTube if we don't grow. So, yeah, if you, had, if you liked the video, if you had fun, go ahead. Like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. Don't forget to comment down below what you think my best pickup was or what your best pickup was for the month of August. Let's talk about it. Uh, but, yeah, this was a ton of fun. Like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. Whether you do that or not, though, you watch the video up to this point, so I want to say thank you for watching, and I will catch all of you guys on the next video. See ya!